So thanks to the invention of HID lighting, indoor gardening became possible. Now we've got this whole booming industry growing up around this. We're moving into decades of legacy. So this is the technology that made it all possible. We've got metal halide, high pressure sodium lighting. We've, we had our typical screw in bulb style, right? So this has been there for us for 25 years. It's been great. One of the biggest things that growers are always after is like, what's that new lighting? Is it LED? Is it plasma? You know, what is it? What's going to be, you know, fiber optics. There's always so much hype around these things. But then when it comes to stable crop production, getting paid, being reliable, you know, we've only been able to count really on the HID lighting. You know, we see a little bit of mixing of LEDs here and there, but so what's the new thing? What's the latest, greatest? How are we moving forward? We're moving away from this archaic screw-in situation to the next level with what we're calling double-ended, DE. So that's how you're going to hear about it. So this is, this is the 1000 DE by Gavita. Uh, this is really a professional-grade, commercially viable unit. Uh, as you can see, it is not a remote ballast, okay? What we're looking at is the ballast directly connected to the ignition sites with high temp leads. The bulb is being fired from both ends. So we're seeing the most complete ignition of gas as possible. We are seeing the most amount of light for our thousand watts that we've ever seen before. So they've really taken the time to make this commercially viable. The reflector is replaceable, which is very important. In my opinion, if you ever buy a reflector where you cannot replace the actual reflective material, it was really a waste of money because reflective materials do not last forever. And if this material is not giving you the proper light bounce, then you're just wasting money. You can replace this reflector every two years and therefore keep your high-end unit in optimum production. Uh, the bulbs will need to be replaced every two years. And uh, so essentially, as I said, uh, these units are being hung with the ballast attached to the lighting, commercial style. And another really massive advancement with this is we're no longer plugging all of these in to timer boards and having these timer boards switching large loads. We're able to get away from this. We're plugging these in to constant power sources and then the Gavita master controller is linking up to these units with little phone cords. The little phone cords are plugging in to this jack right here and simply telling the unit to turn off and on. This is, in my opinion, one of the biggest advances that I've seen in this industry in a long, long time. The Gavita Master Controller has got sunrise, sunset options. The options on this thing are amazing. Go in your garden, turn off the breaker to your air con, watch the heat in your garden start rising, and simultaneously, automatically, all your lights start dimming. Wow, right? So this is truly smart technology. We're definitely going to the next level. And another, there is one other uh, great aspect to this. Um, they are covering a larger footprint. I have hung these units from my forklift, put down black and white, gridded out a square feet and used a really high end par meter to measure every square foot and the 750 Flex is solidly covering a five by five square. The 1000 DE is solidly covering a six by six square. So you definitely have to keep this in mind when you're mapping out your garden. <clears throat> and then the other aspect that we have to consider is the requirement of high ceiling height. Uh, in general, I'm being told not to sell these units to anyone with less than an eight foot ceiling or less than a nine foot ceiling rather, because we have to, we're in general, we are placing the plants in 60 inches away. So five feet away from the lighting and allowing the plants to grow into 36 inches away, three feet away. 
Now, not everyone's growing the same strains around the world, so it is quite possible that you may have a strain that can take a little more light. In fact, I had one client who had to get a little closer than the recommended distance in order to induce the rate of transpiration that he was looking for. So keep in mind, there's a little bit of flexibility with this, but this is not a lighting fixture that you can just take home and put 18 inches above your plants, like you will see plant damage. So I definitely see this as the next big thing, the big advancement that we're gonna see. This is the future for the next five years. If you're building something new, chances are, and you've got the ceiling height, chances are you're gonna to wanna to put these in there.